Hi everybody, it's Oksana and I wanted to show you this uh, neat little snack, yummy snack haul. Everything's organic and healthy, um, so I thought it'd be fun to share this with you, similar to my previous Vitacost haul, except this time I'm trying a new website called Thrive Market, so if you want to hear about that, I will save that for the end. But first, let me show you the food. So first I got this Flamous Falafel Chips, which I showed you in my Vitacost haul. Um, earlier and I really really like them. It's funny because in that video I said that I really like the seasoning that they use. It's really good. It like reminds me of something <laughs> that I'm not sure what it is but they're so good uh, but it's just like very mild and I wish I was stronger. Um, and these for some reason it's not that the seasoning is stronger but they're like a lot saltier. It's really strange so I don't know if it kind of varies from bag to bag but um, they're really good. I like them. They're organic. They use other uh, gluten-free. They use corn and beans and all kinds of spices so really yummy chips. Great with dip and hummus and then um, let me tell you the prices first of all because these are really good prices. They're cheaper than Vitacost and um, I also had a 20% off coupon that you know, these are the prices before the coupon and after the coupon it took away another $13 for my order. So these were $4.25, the bag of chips. Some of these things I bought multiples, but I'll just show you one because it's easier. So next is this Go Raw, which I'm familiar with this brand. I bought from them before, um, Coconut Crisps. And they're $3.95 each, regardless of the flavor. This is the lime in the coconut flavor, and this is the chocolate flavor. And all that they are is organic coconut, um, organic coconut nectar. The chocolate ones have cacao um, and sea salt, and these ones have um, organic lime juice and sea salt. So let me show you what they look like. They are just you know, chocolate coated coconut. Really good yummy snack, um, great treat. So you don't get a lot, if you have a big hand, you might be able to hold them all in your hand and have just like a big handful. See, that's like all <laughs> that you get. Uh, but they are relatively cheap, $3.95 uh, for something, you know, so natural and organic and all that. I think that is a reasonable price for how much you get. And these are really, really good. I love them. These, they're okay, but they're not, I don't like them nearly as much as these other ones. And I think it's because of the salt. They're, they taste strange to me. So they should taste sweet because of the nectar, but they really don't. They just, I taste the lime and the salt. It's like salty lime coconut, which is so weird. I don't know, maybe something's wrong with me. But to me, these, I can taste the salt and I don't like that. I don't, I don't like, um, like sweet things to be salty. You know what I mean? Like coconut, I think of that as like a sweet thing. So it's weird. Um, but yeah, I thought I would like it because I like coconut and I like lime, but they're a little strange, this flavor. But these are delicious. And my kids like them too, so I'll make a great snack for the kids. These I've known about for a long time and have not tried because they're really expensive. And it's so hard to shell out like six bucks for a little you know, hold on, let me open the pouch so I can get the air out of there. You know, a little bit of dried fruit, <laughs> six bucks. I think that's how much they're at Whole Foods, if not more. So that's rough to be able to pay that much um, for so little. But here, they were $4.95 for the pineapple and $4.45 for the mixed fruits. So I got pineapple and then I got mango banana pineapple. I wanted mango, but it was out of stock, so I had to get this mix. Um, they're organic. And that's kind of what sets them apart from another popular freeze-dried fruit <laughs> um, snacks, which is the Trader Joe's. Um, I love their freeze-dried mangoes and freeze-dried bananas, but they are not organic is the one big problem with them. But they are a lot cheaper. I think it's like $2 something for a bigger bag than this. Um, so that makes it, you know, harder to pay more for these. So this brand is called Nature's All Foods, by the way. And if you've never seen freeze-dried fruit, here's some bananas. Oops. They're not like dried fruit at all. They become very brittle, um, very crunchy. So you like bite into them and it breaks apart. 
I don't know if you can imagine that. They're not, all the water is gone from them. So it's not like regular dried mango, which is bendy and flexible and chewy. These are not chewy. They're more like crispy and dry. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's a good way <laughs> to describe it. But um, I do really like them. They are really great. Uh, make great snacks for kids and stuff and they taste yummy But it just depends on you know if you want to pay that much for a little bag uh, here was a good deal So for this price, I probably would buy them again, but for more it would just be I would just probably buy some fresh You know <laughs> fresh bananas and fresh mangoes and cut them up and eat them that way So anyways, that is these and they have other flavors too. They have not flavors, but other fruit oh, That's the only ingredient is the fruit so, um, they have strawberries, I think, and maybe blueberries. Next, I decided to take a big risk and try this really strange thing. <laughs> it's called Just Pure Foods. And they are basically just dehydrated uh, seasoned zucchini and seasoned onion rings. So, the onion rings was kind of out of my comfort zone because I don't like onion that much. But I thought... Maybe my husband could try them. He likes onion, um, but he didn't like them. <laughs> and I didn't like them either. Uh, basically what it is, is in this case it's zucchini, in this case it's onion, um, and then the seasoning that's on them is sprouted buckwheat, sprouted flax seeds, lemon juice, hemp seeds, mesquite, date paste, spices, um, Himalayan rock salt, garlic powder, apple cider vinegar. So let me show you what it looks like. They are um, dried at low temperature, so they're dehydrated to prevent all of the nutrients or not to prevent to keep all of the nutrients alive so here's the zucchini you can see the seasoning is all brown looking and I just don't like this seasoning I if you like it and everybody has different taste buds you know I'm always surprised by the foods some people love that I don't love and foods that I love and someone's like oh I hate that and I'm like how can you hate it it's so delicious <laughs> I was like me and my husband with coconut. He hates coconut. I was like, I love coconut. It's so good. Um, and I hate um, peppers, <laughs> like bell peppers. And I know people that love them. So everyone has different taste buds. Maybe this seasoning will be delicious to you. And these will make a great snack because they are really healthy. They're vegan and gluten-free and organic. And here's what the onion rings look like. So... That is those, and they cost, I don't think I told you how much they cost yet, uh, $5.95. Each of them cost, they're the same, $5.95. They also have kale, by the way, but I tend to not like kale chips, so I didn't even risk getting those. And then the last thing I got is another Go Raw thing, and it's their granola. And this is expensive. It was $9.95 um, on Thrive Market, but you do get a nice big full bag. You know, it's not like air in here, like some of the other bags. Nice big full bag of granola. And it is not the oat kind of granola. It is um, sprouted buckwheat, sunflower seeds, um, sprouted sunflower seeds, dates, sprouted sesame seeds, coconut, hemp, cacao, vanilla, and sea salt. Um, they are, it's organic. Um, dried under 105 degrees Fahrenheit, you know, to preserve everything. So, um, no agave, agave, I don't know how you say that. But that's something that I avoid. I know I don't talk about that a lot, and that is a really popular kind of natural healthy sweetener, but um, I actually avoid it because the reason that they tell you to avoid high fructose corn syrup is because it's been altered to have a higher amount of fructose than glucose. It's basically a fructose glucose syrup and instead of like 50-50, I think it's like 40-60 roughly, you know, something like that. A little bit more fructose. Not a lot. It's not like 90% fructose and 10% glucose. It's like something like 40-60. Um, but that, you know, we read a lot about that being bad and agave or agave or however you say that is actually even higher in fructose than high fructose corn syrup. So I've read some, you know, things of why it should be avoided. And I know like some people swear by it and some people love it and it's like a health thing and everything. It's also pretty processed. It's not like it's nectar squeezed out of the plant, like it's cooked down to a syrup and all that stuff. So I don't know, I just, I would rather not use it. So I avoid it, it's totally up to you. 
you know, your feelings on that. But regardless, this doesn't have it. And this is a really yummy granola. I don't think I showed it to you yet. By the way, it's gluten-free, wheat-free, nut-free, unless you count, I guess, sunflower seeds as nuts. So just like little pieces like this, really yummy. My kids love it. I think it's great. I know that people have a hard time paying high prices for granola, but this isn't an oat-based granola, like an oat-based granola. I usually make myself at home because it's easy and it's just so cheap than buying the store version. But this is actually, you know, buckwheat based. So it's a little different. Um, and I think it's great. I haven't tried in yogurt or anything. I've just been eating it like by itself. I mean, I obviously haven't eaten that much. I just ate a little bit. You can see the bag is still pretty full, but we like it so far. And that is it for the food. So now if you want to hear more about Thrive Market, then let me inform you. So they are a relatively new company and they sell groceries. They sell things for your house, like cleaner and laundry detergent and skincare and all kinds of things. They are like a little mini Vitacost. And I say mini because they're new. Um, they haven't been around very long, so they're still growing and they're still, you know, in the process of expanding their product lines and all that stuff. So I did have a little bit of a hard time finding a full, you know, shopping cart to meet all of the uh, free shipping minimums and I had to buy multiples of some of these things because they don't quite have everything that I buy online. They don't have a lot of the things I buy on Vitacost. They don't have some of the things I buy on iHerb. For example, um, iHerb, I get my Hurrah lip balms. Uh, Beauty Without Cruelty Concealer, which I think is now on Vitacost too. They don't have either one of those. They don't have my raw honey, my organic raw honey in the big glass bottle. I think they have the other one that's not organic from that brand. Um, they don't have my Manuka honey, although they do have some. They don't have the kind that I get. And they don't have the crackers. <laughs> like a lot of things I showed you in my Vitacost haul, they don't really have any of those crackers or the pretzels, the sprouted pretzels. Just, you know, basically they're a lot smaller and they don't have a lot of the same things. And they um, are very cheap. Their prices are lower pretty much in all the cases that I looked um, than Vitacost prices, which Vitacost already has great prices, you know, so this is great. And then I don't know how often they have sales and whatnot, but initially I got a $10 coupon for signing up, which I didn't order and it expired. And then they sent me another coupon for 20% off, which is an even better deal because I ended up saving like almost $14 instead of 10. So uh, really good deal, saved a lot of money. I don't know if that's like a special new customer thing or if they periodically have sales and coupons, I don't know, uh, but they're great price wise. However, here's the catch. Um, they do have a yearly membership fee of $60. And with your first order, you get a 30-day free membership. So I didn't pay that yet, um, but it will charge me that $60 unless I cancel the membership. So it does seem like a lot. And honestly, if I'm giving like, my feedback to them, I would have done it a little bit differently instead of saying, you know, $60 a year, um, it equals out $5 a month. I would just do $5 a month because a lot of people, it just doesn't sound as bad. You know, like if I heard, oh, it's $5 a month, you know, I'm saving more than $5 right now. That's not a big deal. It's, you know, it's good. But when you hear that 60, it's just, it's a big number and it's harder to swallow. Even though it's the same thing, it's just harder because not everyone's going to divide it in their head by 12 months. And, you know, so you just hear 60 and you just want to run. And that's why I didn't place the order the first time when they had the $10 off coupon. I made my cart. I got to the end. And then I was like, ah, $60, run away, you know. And then I thought about it. And they sent me that other coupon. And I was like, all right, I think I'm going to place the order. I think it's a good deal. I don't know if I'm going to stay with the membership, but we'll see. And here's the thing about you know whether I would stay with the membership or not. For right now, because they have such a small percentage of the things that I buy online, um, right now I decided to ask them to cancel my membership. So I'll let you know how that goes. I just emailed them. You, all you do is just email. So I'll write somewhere, you know, whether it was quick and easy. 
Um, however, if they get more stuff as they continue to grow and they have some of the things that I buy from Vitacost and iHerb and I can condense, you know, I don't have to shop at three different places online. I can just shop at them, at one at them. <laughs> I can just shop with them. Um, then it would be a great deal and I will gladly pay the yearly subscription or membership fee because it'll be worth it for me and I will definitely save more than that in a year. So I think that it's great if they have most of the items that you need. So right now they don't for me, possibly they will in the future and I will check um, you know, back periodically and see if it's worth it for me. Um, however, maybe it's worth it for you. Check out you know, what they have now and you know you can always cancel your membership it's you know as easy as sending them an email so um, one other thing I wanted to say is that and again just personal input on the whole membership thing um, so it should be five dollars a month I believe that right now if you cancel if you you know start doing the real membership pay sixty dollars but then like a few months down the road you cancel you get the prorated amount back that you didn't use. Say you stayed with them for half a year, you get $30 back, you know, out of the 60. So it's harder for people though to, to really like see that as a real, you know, I'm getting money back kind of thing versus if you're paying $5 a month, then it's like, oh, I cancel and I don't pay any more money. I don't know how to explain it to you other than it's just, it's harder to pay a big amount up front even if you know that you possibly will get some of the back if you cancel, you know. But it's the same thing as paying $5 a month. So I just think that would be easier. And this way, it's like you cancel this month. It stops charging you starting next month. It should just have it in your account. You can just enable it and disable it. And if you want to quit it for a month because <laughs> you don't want to order, maybe you're going on vacation or whatever, you can quit it for a month, not pay $5 that month, start again the following month. You know, I just think that, I don't know if it makes sense. I mean, I'm sure that they thought all of this through and analyzed it all, but just um, that's, I think it would just make it easier for people to want to join and want to pay that membership fee. And then also another thing I think that's scary about paying a year membership up front, even though you can get it back, is just still, it feels like a big commitment, you know, and it's hard to commit just shopping with a website for a year because you don't know there's so much uncertainty you know will they still carry my favorite product will their prices stay the same you know there's so much that could go wrong and it's hard to commit for a year like that and I think the monthly thing is a little bit easier for people to swallow so just my personal opinion my personal thoughts on the whole membership situation and anyways that's it that is my order that is my thoughts on everything so hopefully that was helpful to you and thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time bye